We purchased these two Hereford bulls from a local farmer. They were born in early March. Um, they didn't have the opportunity to castrate them due to the size of their herd and some family issues. So uh, we purchased them. It was about three weeks before we were able to get them to the farm. Uh, we noticed that they were pretty skittish. So I hired a local vet to come in uh, with a tranquilizer gun. And what you're seeing right now is him. He's on the left with the gun. That's his uh, assistant on the right. They have already tranquilized the dark one that's on the right. And you can see it's kind of a little unsteady on its feet. Eventually what happened is they both made their way down the pasture uh, into the woods. Uh, once they were in the woods, the dark one went down because he was darted first. And then later the uh, lighter one was darted. He stayed pretty close to the dark one. In fact, you're going to see here in a second. There he is. And I'll move the camera angles in a second, and you'll see in that right yeah, rear quarter, right. you can actually see the dart hanging down. Um, he's going to go down pretty pretty calm. Uh, it wasn't a very traumatic event, relatively speaking, but uh, that's the vet on the right and his assistant there. There's the, uh, the darker colored bull is on the ground right now, and they're actually uh, preparing to do the castration. So the next section that we're coming up to. Here's the, the lighter bull again. Um, he's going to go down in a second. In fact, uh, there he goes right there. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he cooperated pretty well. He was he only moved about 15 feet from where he was tranquilized. So here they're starting the castration process. So I'll let the, let the vet do the talking from this point on. So I will give you a warning if you are uh, skittish, um, this may be where you want to stop. Uh, this is where they're doing the actual castration process. So just as a heads up. So we remove the bottom third of the scrotum mm -hmm. so that they'll drain good. Uh, strip that testicle up, get that emasculated as high as we can, crimp them, cut them, and let the crimp stay on. We usually say a, a minute for a year of life, but we like a minimum of you know a minute or two. So even these young ones, we'll let them just let them stay on there a little longer. Mm -hmm. um, Biggest thing for aftercare on these guys are going to be fly control. So I'm putting some some good fly spray right directly on the wound. Uh, I don't know if you have the ability, maybe stringing across where they go in the fences, maybe get you a fly bag or something. Okay, I've got little, one of those. A little bit of dust or something that you're comfortable hanging up and let them dust themselves as they go through. We just want to make sure they don't get any issues with flies.
we're going to tie it in. How we're going to put it up there. What do you recommend for the fly bag? I've got one of those long ones. I think there's a couple different products that you can put on them that are, you know, permethrins or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think any any of those products that are labeled for fly bags should be fine. Okay. Uh, now with your, I know you were talking about you like like them to be grass fed, like them to be as natural as possible. Yeah. There is a possibility of some natural products. You may just have to look into what is a possibility for a natural product. I don't know any right off the top of my head. Okay. Um, but you may be able to ask some grass fed guys what they use to try to stay away from permethrins, then that's that's perfectly fine. I just, I know a lot of those products, they say they want you to mix them with gasoline or something like that to be able to get them across the border, the skin barrier. So I want to try to, you know, for, for you guys doing this on your own, I want it to be as natural as possible for y'all, so. Okay. How much longer are you going you going to feed them for a while? Yeah, we've got some alfalfa cubes. We'll probably start uh, uh okay. I'm I'm going before you slaughter them. I was just curious how long. Some folks have asked uh why we castrate uh with a bull their testosterone levels tend to sometimes make them aggressive. Also, it will uh, inhibit their growth process. So uh, we castrate them so that they'll put on weight a little bit faster. These are production cattle. Uh, they're not pets. They are being raised to um, feed some folks. They are going to be grass-fed. Uh, we try to keep them as natural as possible. So hopefully that answers some questions.